Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how I made this trade right here, where I made over 100%, and another trade right here, where I made over 300% in just two trades. I'm going to show you guys the skill and technique and walk you guys through the process of how I came about these trades and how you could use them today, too. We're going to be talking about one of the most important chart patterns in technical analysis, the double top and the double bottom. These patterns can give you powerful insight into the direction of a stock price and help you make profitable trades. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find these double tops and bottoms. The easy way on how I implement it into my trades so that you guys can get started today and start making money too. But before we get started, I'd like for you guys to scroll down and hit that subscribe button, smash that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button. That really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. As investors, we look to buy stocks at a great value to hold on to for the long run. Like for retirement. But as traders, we are always looking for ways to predict where a stock price is heading so that we could turn a quick profit. One of the most powerful tools we have is technical analysis. Technical analysis uses charts and other data, um, identifying patterns that can indicate where the price is going. Now, I know technical analysis charts can be scary. Uh, it can scare you away, in fact, because they have so much information on them. They have the, the RSI indicator, the MACD indicator, the Hikonichi candles, the Fibonacci sequence. Um, it, could, it could be a lot, guys, but today we're going to clear all of that off the table and we're going to trade naked. One of the most important patterns to know about is the double top and the double bottom. A double top occurs when a stock reaches a high price and then pull back and then reaches that same high price again before falling. This price is often considered a bearish signal. It indicates that buyers are losing interest in the stocks and it's likely to drop in value. On the other hand, a double bottom occurs when a stock reaches a low price, bounces back up, and then reaches that same low price again before rising. This pattern is often considered a bullish signal as it indicates that buyers are starting to show interest in the stock and it's likely to rise in value. All right guys, so before I show you how it plays out, I'm gonna show you a very easy way on how you can find these double tops and double bottom so you don't have to spend hours scouring the stock market on where the price point is on thousands of stocks i'm going to show you find these stocks immediately all right here we are inside of my discord i have posted this one over home depot inside of my discord before the price dropped and i have also posted this other one over best buy inside of my discord before the price dropped to all of my people that signed up for the patreon and as you can see i gained over 118 percent as i showed you guys earlier and 382 percent almost a 400 100% gain on Walmart just from doing these option trades. So let me show you guys exactly how I found these trades. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up on your technical analysis. All right, so here we are on Webull. Webull is the platform that I use to invest inside the stock market. In fact, they have a special promotion going on. I'm gonna leave my link down in the description. If you sign up with Webull, deposit any amount of money, you can deposit one penny if you want to, and you will receive up to 12 free shares valued all the way up to $12,000. With those 12 free shares, you could keep those inside the stock market and decide to use it, or you could sell those 12 free shares and and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on this opportunity but one of the awesome tools that i love inside of weeble is this feature right here is the screener so here we are on the screen i'm going to hit create new screener and we're going to go to the market cap and eliminate all of the penny stocks so we're looking for any company that has a market value over 400 million dollars all the way up to the trillion dollar companies we're going to hit done and then we're going to scroll down to where it says right here under the classic patterns it says a double top and a double bottom right here they also have triple tops and triple bottoms on here but i find the double tops to be a little bit more accurate so we're going to hit double top and we could look for a bullish signal or we could look for a bearish signal and the ones that i look for is the medium term so we're going to hit done right there and then we're going to hit view results and we're going to sort it by market cap to put all the top companies at the top so there it goes google johnson and johnson procter and gamble um home depot coca-cola over the medium term you could do long term or short term but over the medium term these companies right now should have somewhat of a close to being at a double top or a double bottom so if we look at the three month chart right here on wells fargo this company is very close to um having a double top 
all the way back in August. So if you guys want to use the screener tool, go on ahead and check out the link down in the description to sign up for your uh, 12 free shares. But let me go ahead and pull up trading view so I can show you guys exactly how you can start using this strategy today. All right, so now what I would do with Wells Fargo once I'm very comfortable at the price point that I'm willing to put in an option, I would put in an option trade on Wells Fargo. So I would hit options right here and I would look for anything that is more than a uh, nine to ten days out so i will go out to something that this one says eight days so i would do 15 days because i'm trading off the one hour chart remember we're looking for anything that's medium term so i'm going to be trading off the one hour chart so right here for wells fargo i would look for something that's 15 days out so i can have time for the market to play out now if you're a short day trader you're going to look for something that's that same day but me i like to do medium trades and let the uh and look at the direction of the market and see how things play out so if i was to do anything i'm going to look for anything over nine to ten days usually nine to ten days but in this instance i'll pick something that's 15 days out on an option trade on wells fargo so if i think what i do i uh, buy a call predicting that something's going to go up and if i think wells fargo is going to go down i'll buy a put so those are the option trades that you would do um using the double bottom and the double top method all right so here we are on trading view um ticket symbol bby which is best buy and i had actually used weeble to find this double top and Weeble had gave me this double top and I used the one hour chart right here that mean every bar on this chart is one hour of, of trading on Best Buy during the stock market when the stock market is open and and what I like to do I'll grab this rectangle tool and I'll draw out the the top of the charts and I like to scroll all the way back and look at the direction of where um, Best Buy is going and look and behold uh, Best Buy actually had a triple top so right here it topped out one time at around $86 in the rectangle zone it topped out again right here in this rectangle zone so I actually posted to the group hey guys um, Best Buy might have another double top coming up this might be a good time to buy some push because I do not think it's going to break through the zone if it does break through the zone we miss this trade but the probability of it reaching this price point three times and getting rejected is higher than it actually breaking through knowing that the direction of the stock market lately has been pulling back even though it's been a little rally going up um the overall direction of the stock market has been pulling back over the last couple of months so that's what exactly what we did right here so i i sent this to the group and we just let it play out so we let it go forward and i think we put in it came back to our zone right here and then that's exactly when i put in my uh, I bought my put options on Best Buy and then we let it that play out and as you guys can see it actually got rejected and it pulled all the way back to this zone right here and that's when I ended up selling my puts on Best Buy getting me a profit of around 100% if we go to the next one Home Depot all right so here we are on Home Depot Weeble has suggested this one to me too we had a hard time breaking through this zone uh, I guess some good news or bad news had came out but it has shot up but we just ignored that but this is the zone that it usually was trading in right here and had a hard time breaking above so it got to right here and as you guys know i like to draw my rectangle tool all the way back and as you guys can see there's another high point that home depot hit at around 330 ish dollars and so we let things play out i put in my option trade right here um i bought some puts it actually went above the zone but remember it's a zone it's not a certain price point so we let things play out and went forward a little bit started to pull back went back up and then it pulled all the way back and that's when we sold home depot stocks when it pulled all the way back to this zone down here we like to trade from zone to zone and that's when we came around a 400 percent profit the same as with walmart wmt i dropped these zones right here one two and we have bought around right here and it had pulled all the way back and we sold right here so here we are walmart we did the same thing it was in this zone right here we knew that once it got back to the zone we was probably going to try to sell it again came to walmart walmart got to our zone and then it ended up pulling all the way back to around right there and that's when we had sold it when it came back down to this zone and we made around a 400 percent profit on walmart 
Now, it is important to keep in mind that double tops and double bottoms are not automatic. It is best to use other indicators in conjunction with this pattern. However, they can be a useful tool in your trading arsenal and help you make more profitable trades. So in conclusion, these are the steps. You go to Weeble, you enter all of those parameters, you eliminate those penny stocks. You want to look for double tops. You want to look for double bottoms. You take a list of your top market cap companies from that list and you go over the trading view and then you draw out your charts hey this is probably this is a good zone if it reaches the zone we're gonna buy puts or if we reaches the zones we're gonna buy um uh, calls depending on the direction of the market for me the market had been pulling back for the last couple of months i had bought some puts when it came back to a zone and it played out well for me if, if i just win two out of four i'm gonna be a profitable trader because i'm able to win over 100 and i can only lose 100 when it comes to option trading so so far this is the method i've been using to be a profitable trader if you guys do want to know every time i buy and sell a stock i'll post my technical analysis i'll post my option trades i'm gonna leave a link down in the comment section to my patreon the patreon to take it to my discord side of discord i post all my technical analysis like i just said and we also have pro day traders inside of the discord that post their option trades every single day if that's more of your style and you'll also be a part of a community of investors and traders that want to be financially free just like you so if you want to be a part of a great community like that check out that link down in the comment section but let me know guys do you guys have any other trading strategies that you use to have been a profitable trader over the last couple of years let me know your strategy down in the comment section or just let me know down in the comment section if you're more of an investor or if you're a day trader a swing trader let me know everything down in the comment section i love reading you guys comments sometimes i love reading you guys comments a lot of y'all are mean but hey if you're gonna go down there and be mean you might as well hit that thumbs up button that subscribe button so you can be mean to me the entire year but other than that guys don't forget to pick up your free stocks with weeble i'm gonna leave another link in the description to moo moo for you guys that laid it to the uh the end of this video uh with moo moo if you sign up deposit 100 dollars you get up to 15 free stocks valued up to thirty thousand dollars and uh, once again you can keep those and inside the platform and use them or you can sell it and withdraw all of your money guys this is literally free money with those links down in the description but um other than that i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace